How to identify a meteorite stone. Identifying a meteorite stone can be an exciting and challenging task. Meteorites are extraterrestrial rocks that have survived their journey through Earth's atmosphere and landed on the surface. While they can often be confused with terrestrial rocks, there are several key characteristics and tests that can help distinguish a genuine meteorite from common Earth rocks. Here's a comprehensive guide on how to identify a meteorite stone. Characteristics of meteorites. One, appearance, fusion crust. Most meteorites will have a thin, dark outer layer called a fusion crust. This crust forms as the meteorite melts while passing through Earth's atmosphere. It can appear glassy or matte and is usually darker than the interior. Shape. Meteorites are typically irregular in shape. Unlike rounded river stones, meteorites often have a rough, angular, or even pitted surface. Two, density and weight. Density. Meteorites are usually denser than common terrestrial rocks. This is due to their high metal content, primarily iron and nickel. Weight. Given their high density, meteorites feel heavier than earth rocks of the same size. Three, magnetism. Most meteorites contain metallic iron and are therefore magnetic. A simple test involves using a magnet to see if the stone is attracted to it. However, some terrestrial rocks and human-made materials can also be magnetic, so this test alone is not conclusive. Four, internal structure, chondrules. Many meteorites, especially stony ones, contain small spherical inclusions called chondrules. These are ancient, once molten droplets that solidified early in the solar system's history. Metal flakes. Cutting or breaking a meteorite often reveals shiny metal flakes or veins of nickel iron alloy. Tests to confirm a meteorite. One, magnetic test. As mentioned, use a strong magnet to check for magnetism. A genuine meteorite will almost always attract a magnet, especially if it contains a significant amount of metal. Two, streak test. Rub the stone on an unglazed ceramic tile to observe the color of the streak it leaves. Meteorites generally leave a dark streak, while most terrestrial rocks leave a white or light-colored streak. Three, acid test. Apply a small drop of dilute hydrochloric acid to the stone. Meteorites typically do not react, while many terrestrial rocks containing calcium carbonate, like limestone, will fizz or bubble. Four, nickel test. Use a nickel detection solution to test for the presence of nickel. Most meteorites contain nickel, whereas earth rocks generally do not. Types of meteorites. Understanding the different types of meteorites can also aid in identification. One, stony meteorites, chondrites and achondrites. Chondrites are the most common type and contain chondrules. They often have a grainy texture due to their mixture of minerals. Achondrites lack chondrules and are more similar to terrestrial igneous rocks. They are rarer than chondrites. Two, iron meteorites. Composed primarily of iron and nickel, these meteorites are very dense and heavy. They often have a distinctive Widmanstetten pattern when cut and etched with acid. Three, stony iron meteorites, palisites and mesosiderites. Palisites contain large gem quality olivine crystals set in a metal matrix. Mesosiderites are a mixture of metal and silicate minerals, often with a brecciated, broken, and re-cemented texture. Handling and preservation. If you believe you have found a meteorite, handle it with care to preserve its scientific value. Minimize handling. Touching the meteorite with bare hands can introduce oils and contaminants. Use gloves if possible. Store properly. Keep the meteorite in a dry, stable environment to prevent rusting and other forms of degradation. Document the find. Note the location and circumstances of the find, as this information can be valuable to scientists. Seeking expert confirmation. Despite conducting these tests, confirming a meteorite often requires expert analysis. Consider the following steps. One, consult local universities or museums. Geology departments or natural history museums often have experts who can help identify meteorites. Two, contact professional meteorite dealers or societies. Organizations such as the Meteorite Society or the International Meteorite Collectors Association can provide guidance and resources. Three, send for laboratory analysis. For definitive identification, send a sample to a certified laboratory specializing in meteorite analysis. Conclusion, identifying a meteorite stone involves careful observation and a series of tests to distinguish it from terrestrial rocks.
by examining its physical characteristics, conducting simple tests, and understanding the different types of meteorites, you can increase your chances of correctly identifying a meteorite. Always seek expert advice to confirm your findings, as accurate identification can contribute valuable information to the scientific community.